What species is General Sherman, the world's largest living tree? A, a giant sequoia, B, an eastern cottonwood, or C, sugar maple? You've put the giant sequoia. Yeah, I know that in the American national parks, they are so huge that you can even drive a car through a gap in the trunk, so I'm going to go for the giant sequoia. Did you just say you can drive a car through the tree? I think so. Why have I never seen that? The correct answer is... Well played. Step close to home. Chaser has put. Also goes with giant sequoia. Really? I've seen old photos of the roadway through the tree. Whether it's that tree, I'm not absolutely sure, but certainly of a giant sequoia that's actually had a roadway cut through it. No. You have to drive a car through. Not kidding. Well, I never knew that. That's fair. I'm going to Google that up. I've got to see that. Here's your next question. Thank you for that. Fantastic. <laughs> what sporting event from the Pickwick Papers was formerly depicted on a £10 note? A, cricket match. B, football match. C, rugby match. <laughs> You've put... <laughs> rugby match. Yeah, I think it was a little bit um, early for football, the Pickwick Papers. Um, so it was really between cricket and rugby, so I went for rugby. Correct answer is... <sighs> cricket. Staying where you are, the chaser has put... <laughs> Goes right with cricket, yeah. Pickwick Papers came out in 1836. Rugby had only just been invented around mm. there. Okay. And uh, I think it's quite possible Dickens didn't even know about it. No. Here's your next question. What is the full name of the chart-topping Australian boy band 5SOS? A, Five Seconds of Summer. B, Five, Six or Seven. C, Five Stars of Sydney. <laughs> You've put... Five Seconds of Summer. To be absolutely honest, it, it was, it's, a, it's a complete guess. B doesn't sound like the name of a band. It, it might have been C, but I, I just went for Five Seconds of Summer. Correct answer is... Well played, step close to home. Five <laughs> seconds of summer's right. Chaser has put. All oh, goes wrong with five stars of Sydney. Now game opens back up with three from home. Chaser's three behind. Here's your question. Good luck. In Roman numerals, an X with a dash above it indicates what number? A, 100. B, 10,000. C, 1 million. You've put... 1 million. Um, I don't think it's a hundred. Um, I don't think I've ever seen uh, the Roman numeral for a million. Um, and I don't think I've ever seen an X with a dash above it. So that's why I went for a million. Correct answer is? I think you're right. Do you? Oh. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh, oh no. 10,000, staying <laughs> where you are. Chaser has put. Yeah, it goes right with 10,000. I'd have gone with you, see? I'd have gone with a million. OK. The line across it means multiply by 1,000. Okay. Ah, see what happened there. All right, Chaser moves back to within two or three from home. It's a good match, this. Here's the next question. <sighs> James Moriarty, the archenemy of Sherlock Holmes, is a professor in which academic subject? A, chemistry, B, Latin, C, mathematics. <laughs> You've put... <laughs> mathematics. Yeah, I... <sighs> I think because of his ability to outwork Sherlock, outwork Sherlock Holmes, I went for mathematics as it's more logical. Correct answer is... <laughs> well played. Maths is right, mathematics. Step close to home, Chaser's put. She should get this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yep, didn't know that. Well played, brilliant. Here's your next question. Very good game. <sighs> Lok Nagar mentioned in the title of a children's book by Prince Charles is on what royal estate? A, Sandringham, B, Windsor, C, Balmoral. <laughs> You've put... <laughs> Balmoral. Yeah, because I know that Balmoral's in Scotland and Loch Nagar sounds Scottish, so that seemed the obvious choice. Correct answer is... <laughs> well played. Balmoral's right, one from home now with three grand. Chaser's put. <laughs> Gets it right with Balmoral also. Could have gone for 32 grand, you know. I could have, but I'm you... glad I didn't. <laughs> Here's your next question. In 1983, Dame Mary Donaldson became the first woman to hold what post in the city of London? A, yeoman captain, 
B, Lord Mayor. C, Master of the Mint. You've put Master of the Mint. Yeah, um, I don't think it's Lord Mayor. I'd not heard of a yeoman captain, so I went for Master of the Mint. Right. To go through with three grand, the correct answer is... God. Lord Mayor. All right, so you're staying where you are. Chaser has put. Here she comes. Yeah, we close the this. gap. Oh, yeah. No fear of that. <laughs> Have no fear of that. Moves back to within two. We're one from home. <laughs>